nervous, guys. I've stapled my finger before. If you're with me, you know how I feel. Constantly questioning myself. I definitely have no idea how to work this. Don't you love when somebody else looks up equally as simple questions as you? Maybe I shouldn't point it at my face. How to get cover off of staple gun. So we are going into Walmart to get a couple things before I head into the classroom, but just look how beautiful this morning is. Well, you can't tell, but trust me. I still cannot find the mini erasers that everybody is talking about. Definitely going to pick up a couple more of these. How many did I need? Four? I think so. I think I needed four more. Just go with some black ribbon. Gotta get some fishing line. Glad I passed by here because. So I was gonna get bins from Dollar Tree for my leveled library. Um, they have this really pretty gray weave woven texture, but I haven't seen them back. So I'm thinking I might just go with the black mini crates because they'll fit the leveled readers perfectly I just don't know you know now that I'm walking past here I might just grab some items for my stem bins Ugh, I'm not gonna get to the classroom until super late but I think it'll be worth it all right and I'm grabbing this tissue paper don't know how this happened and I'm leaving <laughs> we're out all right I have pulled up to school I have to unload everything in my car and then I will film a crate seat tutorial slash walkthrough slash I have no idea what I'm doing and then we will talk some more classroom setup. I did stop by Panera and picked up a bear claw. If you guys have never had a bear claw, you need it. It is so good. And the only reason I went was because I had a free pastry. I signed up for Panera Rewards. When I worked there a while back and they send me random things even though I never go. <laughs> I think um, every now and then I'll get a free month of bagels so you guys should check them out. <laughs> Alright, beginning of day five. Oh no, my poster fell. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene, and if you've been following along on my classroom setup journey, you know that I will be implementing some version of flexible seating this year in my classroom and one of the options I wanted for my kiddos were crate seats. So that's what we're doing today. Now crate seats are supposed to be, or at least I think, they're supposed to be a cheap option, a flexible option, an easy option. So we're going to see if all of that is true. I am definitely not a professional. I just wanted to give you guys the perspective of someone who has no idea what they're doing. <laughs> Anything that involves wood, I'm usually not good with, so we'll see how this goes. All right, so what do we need? Crates, obviously. I got mine at Walmart for $3.97. Crates. Some kind of wood. Um, this is not, it's clearly not plywood, and that's because this was gonna be more cost effective for me since I'm only making, I originally was gonna make four, now I'm gonna make five seats. So if you are doing more than five seats, it probably would be cost effective for you to buy plywood. However, I think that I ended up using one of these boards and it was maybe like 10 or $11 versus the $18. I think it would have been for the plywood. Maybe I just couldn't find the right one. I don't know, but I really like this. Cushion. So this is really important for the crate seats. Um, I decided to go with a mattress pad. This is a twin mattress pad. I actually don't know how big it is. I guess we can see. I was just hoping it would be big enough. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll be, that should be good. Yeah, that's good. Let's see, crates, plywood, fabric. I originally was making four crate seats and this is the pattern that I picked out. Um, I am going for a more natural theme in my classroom so I thought this would tie in beautifully. A stable gun and staples. I was really surprised to find that these together cost about 
ten dollars um, I've never used a staple gun in my life which is why I had to purchase one and I don't know I don't feel like I should be trusted with it truly it's crazy to me how you have to be I'm pretty sure you have to be 18 years old to buy spray paint but anybody can buy a staple gun is that true I don't know <laughs> I'm kind of scared I've stapled my finger before if you're with me you know how I feel where did how am I already losing things last you'll need ribbon I just picked up some basic black ribbon from Walmart and this will be so you can pull the crate seat top off easy um, supposedly I've seen people who made crate seats and didn't use ribbon but I thought it was a good idea and worth a shot so I guess we should get started I'm kind of nervous guys I don't even know where to start I watched a tutorial on this probably like a month ago and said that's a good thing I should do that <laughs> so just for a second I want to talk about the wood I walked into Lowe's with this idea to make crate seats and I heard that they will cut the wood for you and they will I think the first 10 cuts are free so it was completely free for them to cut my wood and I didn't have measurements all I did was I brought in the crate seat from Walmart and I told the gentleman what I wanted to do he actually measured it for me and made sure it fit in the seat and then he cut me five of them so actually I can get the measurements for you I'll take it right now oh no I don't know what all of the tick okay so it's 15 and a half across and then the shorter side is I don't know what that tick mark is <laughs> I should know shouldn't I what is that tick mark it's um, one two three four and eleven twelve inches and then eleven sixteenth of an inch and I'll show you how it fits so this sets inside beautifully and I told him I needed just a little bit of space um, to go ahead and wrap fabric around and he did a great job. So this is a twin size mattress pad folded over to double the cushion and it fits four crate seats in case you also wanted to use a mattress pad. Like I said originally I was going with four. I've added a new one so I'll have to get something else for that <laughs> but let's cut them out. Alright, so I thought it might be easier if I bring a table over, so that's what I did. And the next step is to wrap it in fabric, so I need to go ahead and cut my fabric. So I'm just going to cut enough to wrap it with a little bit of excess, so I think that's fine. Clearly I'm great at measuring. <laughs> I mean, that seems good to me. Beautiful. Yeah, that'll work. I think. <laughs> Something about doing this just makes me nervous. Like, I feel like I can monumentally mess up the easiest things. We're just gonna go for it. <laughs> I think we should be good. Is that enough? What if that's not? I think that's enough. Constantly questioning myself. Here's our board that I did not sand down, so it's very likely I could get a splinter. We're gonna hope not. And I should probably go ahead and get this opened. How did this happen? Where did that even come from? My hands are green. See, how do these things happen to me? I definitely have no idea how to work this. This part fell out. It looks like it hooks in. I don't know, are there directions for this? Oh, I cut through them. <laughs> Alright. How did I mess this up so bad? Oh, wait. I don't know how to use a staple gun. <laughs> Never mind guys, can't figure it out. Grasp, I can barely read it. Grasp the two wings, push staple channel backwards, and draw it down for complete clearing. That makes a lick of sense. YouTube's how to use a staple gun. <laughs> All right, I don't, I'm scared. I guess you use it like this, so this might be a safety. Caution, remove loading spring before clearing jam. Can you imagine jamming? A staple gun. I don't know how to use this. Dang it! These are the pieces I have. How does it go? No, there's gotta be another piece. I'm, I definitely lost a piece. Okay, um, be right back. How to use a staple gun. How to properly use a staple gun. Step one, load the staple gun. That's a good first step. 
Open the body of this staple gun by pressing the colored latch. What? I don't have that. Is it this? That's a different color. Located at the back, but which way is the back? This? Use the release button to remove the tray. No, I got that part. Okay. Load it with staples. How? I don't have any idea how to do this. I thought I was going to be able to do some crate seats, but <laughs> I gotta figure it out. Okay. You, for sure you would load it here, right? That's not enough space. Oh my, okay. Can I squeeze anything else? I'm just gonna squeeze all of it. <laughs> what does this part do though? That's like a cover, like a safety cover. Maybe I shouldn't take that off yet. I don't even know, okay, maybe I should look up Stanley Staple Gun. Loading. Somebody else has looked this up before. Don't you love when somebody else looks up equally as simple questions as you? This one looks like mine. A 38 second video to show you how to reload the stapler gun. Perfect, Nancy, thank you. Am I missing a part? This part comes off. How do you do it though? Oh my gosh, I literally cannot make this up right now. How, on the, how in the world do you do this? There should be directions. Oh, I did it, okay. So you just, I don't, how do you get it back in? Okay, so you pull down and it pops out. Pull down, pops out, got it, okay. That looks like where you would load staples. <laughs> We're in business, all right. So I have my staples. Hopefully they fit, it's the same brand, right? So they should fit. Thank you, YouTube. All right. So cute. I just love how staples are packaged. It's so satisfying to me to see them all perfectly sorted. Oh no, they don't fit. Oh my gosh. Did I really buy the wrong kind? I did, I bought the wrong kind. Okay, well, what does the package say? It shows a picture of quarter inch, five sixteen inch, and three eighths inch. These are three eighths. It's on here. I'm so confused. Oh wait, this part opens. <laughs> there were better instructions. Okay, see, now it makes sense. Here I was thinking how, oh, that pieces together like that. All right, well, now we know. Maybe this is why you shouldn't rip open packages. It says it can use these staples, so maybe I'm just not, but they don't fit, I don't know. All right, back to YouTube. What's the model number? The model number is TR45. Hey guys, it's Steve. Today I'm gonna. That's what I have. Um, I basically spent my. Yeah, okay. I know that. Oh, oh my so god, tell actually... me the right way to do it. Just tell me the right way. way. Oh, do you just slide, slide them in? in? Oh, they go in the back. Slide them right in, just like that. There Oops. we go. And then you put. Them... We figured out how to use the staple gun. You take the spring thing out, and you slide them in the back. All right. Now, how do you get the safety cover off? I, I told you guys, I have no idea what I'm doing and this is a disaster. <laughs> how to remove the staple cover from the staple gun? Nothing, okay. Well, now it's loaded, so I'm kind of scared. Oh, it's really hard. I'm sure that's what I have to do. If I staple my finger, guys, I am going to be miserable all day so disappointed in myself. It's surely how you do it, right? Surely this is the safest way. No, okay. Where's like beginner? How do you take the cover off? How to get cover off of staple gun. Oh my gosh, guys. I've spent 30 minutes trying to figure out how to work a staple gun. <laughs> Things are never as easy as they look on Pinterest. How do you get it off? Maybe, oh. Ooh, okay. I still can't get this part off. I'm sure it comes off, like that's where, oh wait, maybe it doesn't come off. What if this, the staples, why would the staples come out of this end? Surely they come out of this end. All right, I feel like I should practice on something. I don't know, how deep do they go? I'm scared, guys, I told you I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I've been trying to get this cover off, but the staples come out here, right? Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't point it at my face. This is really scary, okay. I'm just gonna try. You hold it like this, right? I am so sorry. I thought this would be better. So I'm gonna staple the long sides first. Okay, 
that didn't work. Well, at least it wasn't as scary as I thought. Alright, let's try again. Oh, I did it! Okay, guys. Yeah, so you hold it like this, obviously. I'm just gonna make sure the fabric is pulled tight. There's a lot of force behind this thing. We're gonna pull this really tight and fold it over. Really, really tight. I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so now we have this part. My instinct would be to just fold it like a present. Surely that will work. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, that's good, okay. So like a present. There probably are better ways to do this, but. So once you figure out how to use the staple gun, it's pretty easy. So let's put our first seat in and see how it comes together. Oh my gosh, we did it. I should sit on it, shouldn't I? Oh yeah, that's nice. So here's our first finished product. And this little loop is so you can just pull the seat out. Mine fit in there quite nicely though. So some of the corners look a little janky. But I think having a pattern really helps hide that, so let's make some more of these babies. Alright, so I've just completed my second crate seat and it's definitely super easy. I over exaggerated um, and it was really quick so I'm gonna finish them up now. In the middle of building my crate seats, FedEx just called, said they're here, and they had a package, so I hope it's my bookshelves. So we just met, but during the meeting, look what arrived. You can't tell what it is, but they are my scoop rockers. So now I have scoop rockers, Ikea stools, and Ikea bookshelves. I lost the other one, but it's around here somewhere. So apparently I was just talking to you guys and I didn't press record. So um, I believe I was telling you that we are on lunch and we got our scope and sequence done for the year so we know what we're teaching, when we're teaching generally. Um, but I was asking them about supplies. Now you guys know I have nothing <laughs> in my room. Nothing really came with it. I had base 10 blocks um, and that was about it. A teacher dropped off Unifix cubes and foam shapes for me, um, so that was really, really kind. And I was asking them about where I could get, you know, manipulatives and things like that. And they mentioned that I had another storage closet. So, <laughs> in that closet I have a couple of clocks, I have some more tangrams, things like that. And then I asked them what about, like, chart paper and things of that nature. Because at the school where a student taught at, they actually had a supply closet. And in that supply closet, they had things like chart paper, expo markers, things like that, and teachers just had to request them. So I was asking them about where that closet was or how to get things like that, and they told me that we have to buy 
everything. Now, of course, um, you know, we will get some sort of budget, and I think the budget is a little bit greater for new teachers than it is for teachers who have already been at that school. But just thinking about everything is a bit overwhelming because chart paper is expensive. Expo markers are expensive. And of course, I've already gotten, you know, a couple things, but I didn't expect to have to supply everything all year long. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. This is the life of having no AC in your car. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I lose things. Um, and I lost my wallet, so I wasted 10 minutes of our lunch break literally just looking for my wallet. And then I spent time in the Chick-fil-A line, and now I have five minutes to eat and get back to school. <laughs> All right, so we are done for the day as a team, and I came in, finished up my last crate seat. Really, really proud of how they came out. I absolutely love them. Uh, so, yeah. Reflections, I think they were easy. <laughs> Once you figure out how to work a staple gun, you are all good. There's no need um, for sanding or any of that. You just put it all together, you wrap it, you staple, and you are done. Um, so yeah, they're all together. And I got, of course, my scoop rockers. So I'll open those, I guess, now. So these are the scoop rockers that I purchased from Wayfair. I think before tax and shipping, they are about $28, and then after it was probably like $36, I think. So. Exactly what I expected. Now I have a, you can probably see it right down there. That's what I plan on storing the scoop rockers in. I saw a teacher do this, I think on Instagram, so I'm going to see if they fit. <laughs> Kind of a lot, but it, it works. It fits probably about three or four perfectly. Six is a lot, but it should be okay. It's better than leaving them out everywhere, I think. So I need to go ahead and put legs back on this table. Um, since I already have a coffee table that's low, I don't need this one to be so close to the ground anymore. But I think they took the legs out of my room. So now I have to go find some. I guess they're gone. So that might have to wait. <laughs> All right, let's talk while I am opening these Crayola sharpeners. As you saw, I did go back and get more. So we met as a team again, and what we were doing was finishing up our scope and sequence. So that is mostly done. But one of the teachers at the very beginning of the morning had mentioned seeing me on Pinterest. And at first, you know, my mind instantly went to this YouTube channel. And, you know, she told me more about it and she said, you know, something about digital design. And I was like, oh no, because that was my very first video, if you guys remember, <laughs> it was how to design your classroom on PowerPoint. And uh, yeah, she said she saw that. And I don't know if my face turned red or what, but I kind of just said, yeah, I have this little YouTube channel and I like to connect with other teachers and et cetera, et cetera. And then quickly changed the subject <laughs> because it's not like I want to hide it, but I definitely didn't want to go screaming to the rooftops. You know what I mean? It's just, it's really nice being online and talking to you guys and chatting with other teachers but in real life like people you know it's just weird it's just weird and if someone were to walk in on me right now with my camera which they've done but I haven't been talking to the camera they've just been they just walk in seeing the camera angled at me and nobody said anything maybe they haven't noticed but I don't know it's just kind of awkward I didn't even make it to the beginning of the year so there's that. And um, what else? I told y'all about the budget, which is really kind of frightening actually, but we're gonna make it. Finished up my crate seat, so that's really great news. Have to find legs for that table. I'd put them all on top of the other storage cabinet, but I think they took them out, <laughs> which is fine. I'll just find them again. Um, so what I need to do 
while I still have some day left is organize. I got a ton of magnetic letters from Target um, in the dollar spot. And I don't know if I'm gonna have a set of magnetic letters for my class. I mean, I'm sure I should. At the meeting today, you know, a couple of the girls were telling me that I should be getting all of this first grade stuff. So maybe I'll just put them into a container for now. I don't know. I got my bookshelves. I'm not setting those up today. I think I'll make a separate setting up my library video. I just have a lot to do. <sighs> Every time I feel like it's coming together, 10 more things happen. But I'm really excited about my scoop rockers. Oh, I'm really excited about my scoop rockers. I have to set up these little floor connecting mats that I got. So I'm really excited to show you those. I think after I clean up my area where I was making my crates, I'll go ahead and organize and then show you those really cool wooden, mat, foam, floor, tiles. I don't know. They're awesome though, guys. Will this be a terrible idea? Who knows? If it is, we will take it away. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I went to Michael's and found these bottles. They're really good size. Originally they were $2. I ended up paying 60 cents and all I'm going to do using this clip is just punch a hole in one of their numbers, clip it to a number, and stick it in there. But I also found this bowling bin set. I don't remember how much it was but it was on some big summer clearance. So I thought that'd be a really fun game that we could play in the classroom. So actually I can tell you. Water bottles, bowling set, $3. So it was also 70% off. That is a great deal, $3. I also picked up some twine so that I can hang things from the ceiling. And then I, picked up this sign. Um, it was originally 20 but I got it half off I believe. So it was $10 and I think I mentioned that I wanted to use this and kind of flip it around but that's not what I originally bought it for. I originally just bought it for myself to write Mrs. Call on and I still wanted to do that and when I spotted this sign I thought that it would be perfect because I could just switch it from whatever I want it to say. You can come up, don't come up, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna make it say, but that's what that's going to do. So really quickly, I wanna figure out this area. I have put my scoop rockers here for now just because they are an eyesore and they're super accessible right there and you can't see them when you walk in the room. So <laughs> I think that's where they're gonna live. I have in here um, some indoor recess stuff. I don't know if I want it to stay here. These might turn into math centers. I really don't know you guys. I still have to clean it out, honestly. So the next thing I'm going to do is sort of create this on my chalkboard. Now, of course, I don't have anything cut yet for my Cricut, but I'm just gonna tape off the sections, I think. I'm not gonna do keep the quote anymore. Maybe I'll start it later. I just, mm, I don't think I wanna start it at the beginning of the year. Just cause they're in first grade, that's the only reason. I'm not sure though. All 
All right, so let me explain to you what I've got going on. So in the middle here, I wanna do some kind of teaching focus. So whatever we're focusing on, maybe put here, I'm not really sure. Up at the top is where I will do our voice levels. So I don't know if I wanna do four. I think I just wanna do one, two, three. Over here, we'll put our math rotations, literacy rotations, still still debating on keep the quote I would really love to do it I just with first grade I don't know how much they'll get out of it <laughs> so over here I'm gonna do my jobs and I'm thinking maybe TJ Maxx might have another one of these probably not but if they do um, that'd be great because I want to have three jobs so it'd be like boom 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 and I would put their picture up or their name not sure over here is some kind of anchor chart um, I don't know for what subject, something, I don't know. Some anchor chart will go there. And then over here, I'm thinking maybe class dojo or something like that. I'm thinking class dojo, but that is what I've got going on. I still am debating what to do with my bulletin boards. I would really like this bulletin board to feature pictures of them and like, STEM creations, so like if they create something, I'll take a picture, post it up there, and over here, uh, I'm just not sure. I really want to create something interactive, but I don't know what. So I'm still thinking, if you have any ideas for bulletin boards, let me know. I don't want them to be just decorative, I want them to have you know, something behind them. All right, the next thing I'm going to knock off my list is making these containers, or I guess labeling the containers. So you guys saw me already laminate and cut all of these labels. So I'm going to take some double-sided tape and stick them on the inside of the containers. I do have these labels in my store for super, super cheap if you like them. I am personally in love with them. So here's a close up view. So proud of these. They came out adorable. So that's what I'm going to do now. Honestly guys, this makes me so happy. They came out so, so nice. Oh my gosh. So I wanna make coordinating ones for my stem bins. Um, I just, I don't know when I'm gonna have the time. Maybe I'll do that today or tomorrow, or the day after that, <laughs> or the day after that. I'll find time somewhere. Wouldn't that be so cute though to have them coordinate. <laughs> Alright, so next time I come in, I think we'll probably be either making paper flowers for my room or putting together my library. So we'll see which of those comes first. I do think my sister, or at least I'm going to talk my sister, into helping me build bookshelves. So, <sighs> alright. Alright guys, I think that's it for Wow, classroom setup day six. Really today was less of a setup day and more of a making my crate seats day. All right guys, that's it for today. I know this one was a short one. Really my mission was to just get those crate seats done. Actually, I wanted to hang up my word wall, but that didn't happen. I ended up spending more time organizing everything, um, but that's okay. I put up a lot of things and oh, still there's so many things that need a home, but it's coming along, it's coming along, so I'm telling myself. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really am just overwhelmed with the support you guys have shown me here and on Instagram. It means so much to me to connect with you guys, especially you student teachers, first year teachers. Like, I love it. You can always reach out to me here on YouTube. I reply to just about every single comment, I think. And you can message me on Instagram at Miss Calls Campers. You can even email me at calltheteacher at gmail.com and I'm happy to respond to any questions you wanna ask there. So normally at this point in the video, I would walk you through <laughs> and do a little tour of my room, but I didn't do that much in my room today. 
I pretty much just made crate seats and organized a couple things. I had planned on putting together the IKEA stools <laughs> that are right over there. I had planned on putting up my word wall. Um, yeah, I only knocked a couple things off my list today, but that's okay because it's 7.30 <laughs> and I really need to go home. I don't know what I was doing this whole time. Somehow, when you're in a classroom, you enter some sort of like alternate dimension and time just moves so much quicker than in the real world, I swear. I am happy to answer any questions you student teachers have. I love that. I was just in your shoes, so I am more than willing to help you guys out. I also want to say how crazy it is that we went from 100 subscribers to a thousand subscribers in a week. Guys, that is insane! And then you double that in like a couple of days. I really just, I can't believe it. I am so thankful for you guys. <laughs> and I really appreciate you watching these videos. Like, when you guys tell me that you look forward to them, it just makes my day so thank you guys so much if you have anything you'd like to see from me in the future you can go ahead and let me know here on Instagram you can email me um, I do have a couple of things planned <laughs> I don't want to ruin it I am gonna make um, paper flowers soon and set up my library and all that fun stuff so those are to come and of course I'm going to be doing classroom vlogs once the year starts but man you guys are amazing <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun just being in my room <sighs> Like a moment ago, I just kind of laid on my carpet and just looked around and I was like, man, it feels so good to be here. So, yeah, that's how I'm feeling, even though I didn't get anything really done. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.